Welcome to the UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County Invader Alert. Hi, Lara Milligan here, your local natural resources agent, here to tell you about the invasive apple snail and what you can do to help control it. The first step to helping with the invasive apple snail problem is to collect the live snails by hand so you can find them near bodies of fresh water either in the water or on vegetation around the water. This is what the shell looks like of the invasive apple snail. It looks similar to the native apple snail but the grooves are much deeper in the top part here. Um, it's much flatter in the native apple snail and overall the shell is much larger in size than the native apple snail. So you can see the differences here. On the left is the invasive apple snail and you can notice that the grooves on the top portion of the shell are much deeper than the native apple snail on the right. And here again on the left you can see the invasive island apple snail and note its size that it can grow up to be four inches as compared to the native Florida apple snail which only grows to between 1.5 to 2 inches so if you find a large snail shell out there or a live snail it will most likely be the island apple snail although you want to also look at the grooves on the top of the shell for proper identification. Once you've caught the live snail. I know this isn't a live snail, but if you find one alive, um, you can collect them and place them in any container. It could be a Ziploc bag. And then you will place the live snails in the freezer for about a week. Then once a week has passed, you can come get the snails, which are now dead and we will take them outside to bury them in the ground. Using a shovel, dig a hole large enough to fit the amount of snails that you've collected. And then you can take the frozen apple snails and place them in the hole that you just dug. And once they are all in the hole, then you can just fill them in with the dirt that you dug out. Now we're going to switch gears to talk about how to remove the invasive apple snail eggs. Here is an image with both the Florida apple snail eggs and the invasive island apple snail eggs. The native eggs are on the top and you can notice that they're um, larger in size than the island apple snail and they are also more of like a pearly white color than the island apple snail eggs which are more of a pink color. Um, the island apple snail eggs are actually this bright pink when they're first laid um, but they're not to be confused with the native apple snail eggs which can also be kind of a salmony color when they're first laid. Uh, they both tend to turn more white as they get closer to hatching. This is what the invasive apple snail eggs look like. If you see any of these clusters you can simply do a hand removal. So you can scrape or break off the egg cluster. The best that you can, you can crush what's remaining on there. And then you'll take these and stomp them on the ground. So once you have your egg clusters somewhere where you can stomp them, simply place your foot on top and crush the eggs to ensure that they don't hatch. Removing the egg clusters of the invasive apple snail is more effective than removing the snails themselves. You'll begin to see the bright pink egg clusters appear in March and they should be removed for as long as you see them. And that's how you get rid of the invasive apple snails in Florida. Now it's your turn to make a difference. Thanks so much for doing your part to help keep Pinellas County free of invasive species.